playoff facial hair. Grow it, show it. Let's f***ing win this thing. At this point in the season, wins are all that matters. Oh. Same as some of the guys, I've never won anything in rugby, I've never won a championship. Jungle Book? Watch the movie. Watch the movie. Everyone watch the Jungle Book. Sorry, uh, millennials. Generation Z. Okay, this is the law of the jungle. As old and true as the sky. For the wolf that keeps it shall prosper, and the wolf that breaks it must die. As the creeper girdles the tree trunk, this law runneth forward and back. For the strength of the pack is the wolf, and the strength of the wolf is the pack. Scotty loves his themes, eh? I think it was good for us realising that shit, we're all in this together, like, you know, if someone does something well, we've all got to back them up and make sure that we're helping each other. The thing around the DC game is that we just knew that the way that they play, they, put, they throw the ball around a fair bit. We needed a real collective effort, so the whole thing around it, you know, a pack of wolves. Yeah, the pack mentality on everything we do, it's going to be hard to break us down, eh? All right. Lord the jungle. Okay, so when they come to uh, Quincy this week, it's welcome to the jungle. Sagel, Sagel, Sagel. You can just stop now, right? Number of balls that hit the ground. Boys are dead keen to jump on it and get on it. I think as we went into the session, naturally, boys got more and more fatigued and lost a little bit of pep in that step. But we just got to stay on, eh? Short session. I know we're working hard. We just squeeze everything we can get out of it. But pretty happy for me. <laughs> There were some whispers about ice creams um, and the boys were like, oh, there's an ice cream truck coming, but training was well and truly over. We're wondering where the hell this ice cream truck is. We actually seen one drive past and we were wondering, I think this is a stitch up because it's like been 20 minutes now and there's still no ice creams. What a treat. Woo! What a day. I think it just boosts morale. Like it's it's a hot day of training, and and uh, it kind of shows the management knows that it's the you know the, the the training weather is isn't cooperating with what you'd what you'd ideally want to be, you know, running lots of meters in, and and to have them kind of acknowledge like, hey, you've done your work, um, you know, a simple thing like an ice cream truck. It makes you feel like a kid again, and, and it makes going to work fun. Oh, dude, I love an ice cream. I love sandwich. an ice cream sandwich. Yeah, the cookies and cream sandwich. Give me a sandboni. <laughs> we just choose. Hey, 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 hey. What about hey, a Choco hey, hey, hey. Taco, hey, hey, hey. Keezer? What do you fellas reckon, eh? Right, bottom, hey, get bottom, the Choco Taco. Ninja Turtle. Ninja Turtle. Oh, oh shit. That's oh, it, man. Oh, 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 That's it, man. That's it, man. That one, hey. Beef. 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 Morning, Sheriff. Hi, Ivan. How are you? Doing good, man. How are you? My mom, my mom hits me with that for every hockey game, and she now sends me messages sometimes. I, Same thing. Just the three little dots. Every game, yeah. I get yeah. a pregame text before, from Same. my mom. Same. Same. Same thing. Have fun. Work hard. Yeah, play smart or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got it on the auto send. Just <laughs> like syncs the free jack schedule. That would be helpful, eh? Like every night you just send like a love you. Auto send love you. <laughs> just clockwork at 10:30. Yeah. Your mom would love that every night too. She's like, wow. The iOS. You're so tall. But she doesn't know that it's like auto sent, and you just get one every night. Yeah. She's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> session there. Um, I like the positivity, eh? like there's going to be mistakes like there was in that captain's run. It's greasy, I understand that, it's going to happen, it's all about how we react, how our mindset, you know, like just around, and we could just continue to play, we stay in the plays, 
Um, I know everyone's all over their detail because that was that was sharp. Just taking free food from the club, taking the bananas, all the energy drinks. <laughs> I'll roll with him over just to kind of co pilot and then uh, I'll go back to Grant with y'all. Are you guys going to jump off the dock? Yeah. Go down to the Quincy Yacht Club after trainings and go for a swim and um, refresh in the ocean. It's just an awesome way to connect and have fun and not think about rugby. Yeah, have some laughs and talk some shit. <laughs> I think there's a lot of the behind scenes kind of little hobbies that the boys have. Often after a hot hot training, we're we're off to the to the dock for a swim. A lot of the boys are quite into their golf, so you know, off days, smacking a few balls is always fun. I think that like I say, just that off field environment really builds us together and connects us and then that transforms onto the field. See you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah see you tomorrow. You. I think it's a Wayne Smith quote and he talks around finals rugby is about doing ordinary things in an extraordinary moment. And I think that's it, nothing changes, we stick to our process, we do our stuff, but that's play, coaches playing cricket in the morning, players coming in, playing table tennis, playing cards, that's what we do. But that's who we are, we enjoy each other's company and we have a, we have a few laughs and it's really our job to ensure that none of that stuff changes and if it does then the players start feeling it and it'll just, you know, then we'll start doing things that are out of character on the field. But ultimately, when you think about why we do this job, we do it because it's fun. Their big, their big weapon today. So first job, no matter what it is on defense, is stopping them all. Everything else can kind of sort itself out after that. And then let's get a mall try today. I think if we, if we not dominate them early, if we get an early mall try, get them in the ground, I think we'll, have, we'll be a way to win this game. Yeah, that's just the mind, mindset going into the first 20, I think, for all of us. Let's hiss into these boys today. Cameron, your family's doing a tailgate today. Huh? Your family's doing a tailgate. Yeah. yeah. When are they starting up? I don't know, they're gonna go driving down, leaving the farm at like 1.32. Well, that's a big day. Big shift, they probably started at 12. Welcome to the tailgate, man. This is it. Eastern Conference Finals, Free Jacks tailgate. Every week, at every home game, you can expect, expect us out here. All the old boys hanging out, chilling. This is the big daddy over here, and this is the fam bus and his whole family. This is the little this mini bus over here. Buzzy's got the short bus today, and we've got the, the mystic old boys all hanging out here, and this is our tailgate every week, right? Either they're here first or we're here. Today I had to keep the space open for them. Some days they're in here tearing it up before we get here. We're ready to go. Go Free Jack. Four Queens has been cool, man. My parents do tailgate before every game. Like they're there at one o'clock, cooking food for people. Like there's tons of people that are new to rugby too that you get to show them this great game. And I think, dude, all around one of the best places I've ever played. It's energetic. I've never like experienced anything like it. I used to walk in with headphones. I like kind of just walking in without headphones now, just being like, this is this place is buzzing. Because you can hear it. You can hear the bands, and and sometimes you can see a different size of crowd. And you know that they're, that's their pre like they're having a pregame for the game. We are nine miles south of downtown Boston in Quincy, Massachusetts, for the Eastern Conference Final. 14 and two New England set to take on the underdog of the four teams remaining in this MLR Championship Series, Old Glory DC. I say it every week, but we're going to be the ones that win this game today. We laid the marker down at the end of the season that we are the best pack in this league. Now it's time to prove it again and again and again at every scrum, every mall, every lineup we go in. We're going to torture these guys. It's set piece time today. Sweet, boys. I just need 100% of every single one of you, every scrum. Every scrum's a fucking new game plan. It's an opportunity for a penalty, eh? Every scrum is game defining. And last week, if won them the game, this week is going to win us the game. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's go, boys. Oh, no. No. We had an awesome um, warm-up 
which was probably our best of the year. I think it showed that we are a bit more dialled in, I guess, in a way. Um, and we knew it was pretty important to start well, to get the crowd behind us early and make DC feel the crowd and feel the momentum that, look, we're here to play. A lot of energy in the room, which I like, eh? Some good energy. We go back to our little dog reference. That hunting as a pack. It's the dog that bites the hardest, not the one that barks the loudest, eh? So let's not leave that energy in here. Let's not leave that fizz in here. Take it with us. We've had a, a great week, and it all leads up to this, eh? So we don't just we don't just come out and shit and put in a good shift by chance. We've trained it. We've earned the right to be here, but we've got to earn the right to go further, eh? So let's get after it, boys. Effort on effort, eh? It's a constant theme of the day. Efforts on efforts will put us in the right spot. Let's get after it, boys. Let's go, boys. Here we are. Jacks on three. One, two, three. Yes. Third time they've met this season. First match, guys, a three-point match. The second match, not so much. And four matches they have played have been decided by six points or less. It'll be kicked away by Old Glory to New England to begin it. Here's Andrew Quatrin with it. 16 caps with his native country of Canada. Happy Canada Day. Here's a run and right in goes Milan. Ball underneath his left arm and LaRue Milan picks up right where he left off two weeks ago in the try zone. New England up 5-0. Ben, you talk about someone who's in fine form. Blanc has had such a good last few weeks, but he's been so strong. Starting off the game, I knew like we had to start off that first 20 with a bang and making sure we get on the scoreboard early, which in that case, it did happen. Got a penalty from a good defensive set, kicked to the corner, got a all going, and then LaRue just scored off that, so it's awesome. It's a good start. New England knocking on the door here. It's legal, he found it. Ball in the back. Inside of the five meter, the push continues. Coming in to help out Ben Lesage. Quatrin's in the back there, Quatrin. And he gets it down. They power it in. And New England gets that five. They just had taken off the board a couple of minutes ago. Back, now it's a 12-0 match. It's quite emotional, isn't it? Like, especially when there's a line out at the five meter line. Probably 95% of the stadium knows what's coming. Everyone on the field knows what's coming. And it's just, all right, put all your chips on the table. Like, who, who's got it? So, just talked about the start of the, the half. That was that was huge for us. And when you got those six big boys in front of me, like, they're, they're tough guys to stop. And maybe add a couple pounds from Ben and Paula, so. <laughs> New England has come out sharp and looked really good here in the first 18 and a half minutes. 15 nothing, they lead it. Now Nico Jones, heavy shot there. He took that him down low and took that shot up high. Look at these big hits from the Free Jacks. Their body position is so low. See if they can withstand. Tip to the back, but this didn't materialize the way it should have there. Jumper just got lifted up too early with New England, Quattro maybe just not on the same page there. That's two in a row for the Free Jacks, two in a row. This is where I think, I think personally, this is where that two-week break comes into play, right? You lose that rhythm because right. this is very uncharacteristic for New England. Not one, but two lineouts. Unfortunately, we had some hiccups in the in that second, in the latter half of the first half. Yeah, and we just struggled a bit, but again, we're quite critical, which is, I think it's important to have a bit of humility and, and understand, like, you are going to make mistakes, but immediately someone makes a mistake and it's like people around them, yeah, picking them up, but the brains on the backside are like, okay, how, what can we do? What do we need to do better? Going into the second half, boys, I'll make sure the calls are a little bit clear and then we start winning those balls. That's my bad. But we want to go forward in the second half. Back yourself. You don't need to say my bad. Anything you do is sweet. Okay? Just back, fucking back yourself in. Probably what you're doing, we're just asking the question just for clarity. I was feeling a lot of pressure coming in at half. Um, Obviously, we our lineout wasn't wasn't working as as well as it has this season. And being the guy calling the lineouts, it kind of rests on your shoulders. And in the past, when lineouts aren't going well, it does kind of dribble into my other gameplay, and I'm kind of in two minds around the field. And and to have that kind of support coming from the captain, I really appreciated that. Whereas like it's it took the weight off my shoulders, and and he was happy to kind of spread it out. And I think you know that kind of that's kind of a microcosm of 
what our team is like this year. Probably had a shaky last 10, and we're still in a pretty good spot. I think we come out flying this first 10th to give it to them. They're going to have to sub, we're going to load a bench. The thing that I do love is our energy, eh? We spoke about effort on effort on effort. We've gone out, we've banged them, we've banged them a number of times. A couple of times, if we're, if we're being really nitpicky, just high on the inside. Step back a couple of times, that winger on the edge. I know because we're looking to try and scramble, but that's our chance, eh? Get some ribs. Keep whacking them. We'll see which team can really come out firing in these first few minutes. All right, New England will kick it away to Old Glory. They trail by 18 here in the Eastern Conference Final. Good job by New England defensively. Here comes Poland. Nifty little ball. Lesage kicks one through. Chase for it here. Can they get to it? Yes! What a play from the Free Jacks! Filamone puts it down in the try zone. And New England extends the lead. It's 23-0. And the Free Jacks break a dry spell of scoring. Massage with that beautiful rubber and just everyone flooding in. Inside of the five meter to the four. Susitala. Kick over the top. Diaz Bonilla into the hands of Palamo. And he gets it down. And Old Glory gets on the board here. It's 25 to 5 with less than eight minutes to play. And that is the match. The New England Free Jacks have won the Eastern Conference Championship. Hey, pause. iPads. iPads. Open the box! You gotta return your iPads. It's a thousand dollar bonus, please. Yes. Let's go, Scotty. Yeah, no one touched the trophy. First time Eastern Conference champions, you heard. Pretty much everybody, don't touch it. Don't touch it. It's very hockey. You don't want to touch the trophy until it's the very end. But New England, what a job they did. Woo! Unreal. On to Let's Chicago. Go. On to Chicago. Let's go. Bring on Chicago. Keep it rolling. On to Chicago. On to Chicago. That's it, Harry. Just bought tickets already? Uh, Cruising but, down. We stand right there. Stop plugging them in. Harry was like, get the flights. We booked the hotel rooms like two weeks ago. Oh, did you? So you didn't have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you knew you were coming. I'm glad you did. After the game, everyone's coming up to you on the field, like taking pictures and everything. They're like, hey, we'll see you next week. People are fully bought into us and the team. I mean, I just think that's New England sports for you. Like, once you start competing and buying into what like the fans are about and we play like how the fans want us to play they're all in on us and they're going to come out and support us talk to me about the board please what are we seeing a green shut up shut up shut up We use a little bit of baseball terminology here with our theming this year, so a shutout is effectively 40 minutes of rugby where the opposition don't score a try. And uh, this week when we came up with our, our vault goal, was uh, we were pretty confident if we could have one shutout in the game that we'd win the game, and, and that proved to be the case. So uh, I guess the honour is on Mr Youngit to open that for yeah. 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 We're fully charged. Eric Anderson, one of the owners of the Free Jacks. Congratulations on an amazing match yesterday and an incredible season. Um, we know that none of us would be here today if it wasn't for the whole team. Uh, and as such, all of the owners, me, Mags, Dave, John, Patrick, and Nate and Angad, all just want to say congratulations and do something special for the ball this week. So given it takes all of us to really be a team together, uh, we know the red coats are a big part of the story of preparing everyone for the season. And so we wanted to make sure that they could share in this special moment as well. And so for the vault this week, all the owners are opening up the vault. And we'd like to make it so the red coats can travel with us to Chicago this weekend. And make it there, and everyone's going to get to celebrate this amazing uh, championship together. So for those of you playing on Saturday, bring us home a championship, train hard this week, do an awesome job. I'm so proud of you, and we're so happy with everything that's happened uh, this season. Can't wait for the match on Saturday. Thanks for everything. <laughs>
and being able to share this weekend with our entire squad. It took all of us, it took every single one of us um, to, to build what we've got here. Um, and I, I was pretty appreciative of the management to say like, you know, we're gonna go and we're gonna go and compete for this and we're gonna go compete for this as a full squad. <laughs> all right, so just for, uh, this week, theme, theme. I get quite excited about the, the, the person that makes me laugh the most when they do that is cocky. <laughs> and you see, it's like a, it's like a little dog. <laughs> and I don't know, it started a couple months ago. Everybody just, I don't even know, maybe, I don't know if Mike started it or TK, but you know, you get going and you get a few yeah, 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 going in there in the room and everything. And it's crazy, something just transforms to that. Now everybody constantly, whenever we're doing anything, you just throw a little yeah out there and just gets everybody going. I think it came from Mike Rogers, um, our assistant coach. I think he was getting excited about um, a story he used to tell back at Margaritas, a, a bar he used to go to in New Zealand. And I think out of excitement, he hit us with a yeah. And then a few of the boys started to do that. And now it's, someone says it, the whole team's, you know, so we sound like a pack of dogs, you know, just yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. Team of the week is the following. It's 4th of July, it's, everything's happening, but uh, America. when I first got you, like I noticed this and I was like, shit man, that's, that's, that's off the chain. I didn't understand it. Is this? Hell yeah, brother. Live free or die. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. <laughs> what the hell? And then I started finding out a little bit more about this live free or die story. And uh, why New Hampshire is a little bit different to everywywhere else. Uh, you don't have to wear a, a, a seatbelt in New Hampshire. Live free or die, bro. Uh, no, no insurance. Stuff that. You don't need that. Uh, you don't have to wear a helmet if you're riding a bike. It's okay. Uh, guns. You can pack. It's all good. It's a good place, eh? Hey? Okay, let's move to Hanover or wherever somewhere there. All right, so live free or die. And, and this was, uh, there was a guy uh, back in the day who was obviously involved in... Uh, the whole liberty uh, movement and he had this quote which i thought was awesome um, and he was talking about how they rallied against uh, the the brits they were men that had not learned the art of submission because you know it was all like guerrilla warfare they just had the farmers and they were just going at it uh live free or die death is not the greatest of evils and i thought that was pretty cool and it's pretty applicable for this weekend like, uh, I thought that, uh, this, I added the, this put, I put in, it was a part of his earlier speech, and this was the end of it. But I reckon that's so applicable to us. Man, I don't, that's, that describes us really well. This is a team that has not learned how to submit. That's that. And the second thing is, I agree with you guys. Losing is not the greatest of evils. The worst thing that you can do is play within yourself in, in these games. Okay, live free or die. That's the freedom to do what we do. And do it well, and un unencumbered by distractions and everything else that goes on. So let's, uh, most importantly for me, when we go there this weekend, we are going to and take a trophy. Okay, we're not going there to compete for one. It's a f***ing, we're taking it. So it's really, is that's what we're doing. We can live free or die, and if we die, f***ing, that's not the worst thing that's ever happened, is it? That's sweet. Alright, we're going there for f***ing purpose, we're going to take that thing, eh? Awesome boys, uh, good to have the crew here. Um, obviously, awesome to be on the grass again. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna run at a decent clip like we've been doing that the last couple of weeks, so it's nothing new. Uh, get through our maps. It'll be obviously driven by potty, then take our time to the next one, and then we go again. Fully down, score the try, get our place, so I can get a bit of a hiss on. Keep building that confidence into tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> This is going to be insane. Five Obviously mafia. we do like four. Yeah. Five, 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 five mafia for sure. This is going to be insane. Five mafia. First round is just.
is going to be a little bit slower because I'm going to write down the mafia, write down everyone. Yeah, 100%. Like, no worries. Track. <laughs> <laughs> I sounded super sick. I know. No, you're like, yeah. Fuck All right, everyone heads down. <laughs> 20 people. Everyone heads down. Oh. Mafia, heads up. It was important for me this year, probably something I didn't do last time I was in this position, was I focused, I tried to play the game in my head before the game even happened. And it's almost exhausting when you get to the kickoff. You're like, I've, I've done this in my head, you know, a thousand times. So for me this week to switch off and having fun with my teammates uh, was a huge thing on the mental side of the game. I think it's something that I've learned the hard way that you, c you can't play the game before kickoff. So just to be able to switch off and have some laughs, you know, enjoy each other's company outside of rugby. Um, I think that's one of the special parts about our team is that we, we enjoy each other outside of rugby. We enjoy hanging out. Yeah, from my informant, you're clean, you're clean, you're clean. <coughs> I'm chilling. I think Wax is clean. Wax is clean. Oh, we just got to go up to Wax and Dorothy. The, the informant pointed to Wax and said, like, pretty clean, so. Pretty clean. Uh, well, <laughs> he took a shower today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, Dorothy, you pointed to Wax and Dorothy. We got to play. Pull it out, out Dorothy. Get it out. Yeah. Get it out! Get it out! Alright, everyone's going Close for Dorothy. Dorothy, you got 30 seconds, buddy. Oh, come on. Guilty. Alright, Dorothy, you're eliminated. Civilians. obviously not getting a home final but to have you know a bit of home a bit of that crowd that we've seen all year be here and to show that support for us and that kind of time commitment financial commitment to come out to a weekend in Chicago you know it means the world to all the players I think having those having those kind of super fans come out and, and support us uh, regardless of wherever we are especially in such a big game like having them there is, is just makes it feel like a little bit more at home for us There's not much, hey, just I think last week we were the better unit when everyone thought we were going to be. Today we got to be the better unit when no one thinks we're going to be, hey. We stick to the basics, it's f***ing any other game for us. Doesn't matter who the f*** is over there, we go and take it from them. Lots of pressure, don't f***ing give them space. 
Let's fucking get in their face. Let's make them know how fucking good this back line is, eh? Build into the game. Doesn't have to be a special play, doesn't have to be anything magical. Just a good, good solid tackle, good solid carry, good clean or something. Get you in the game, settle the nerves. We can sense a few nerves and that's fine. But these big games is just effort. Effort on effort. And when we get a chance to set it to the forwards, when we get a chance to bang, we're intense in the collision and we're fighting, fighting to win that collision. Simple boys, we've, we've shown it all year. Back this group to go out there and perform. Don't overthink things if, the, if, if something goes wrong. We can connect with the eyes, connect to the boys beside you, just on to the next task. Next task, next task, next task. I've got no fing doubt that we can outwork these boys. I want to get stuck in, eh? I want to get. Let's get into it, boys. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Jacks on three! One, two, three! Jacks! The New England Free Jacks have won 11 straight. The San Diego Legion have won 14 straight. And today, one of these teams will hoist what every Major League Rugby side plays for, the MLR Championship Series Shield. It is a pleasure and an honor to be here to crown the 2023 champion. Mikey Teo of San Diego starts us off here, and we are underway. New England trying to get to it, and the Free Jacks will try to go to work here for the first time in the match. 11 straight victories for New England. Mahananu back there mishandling. Oh, an opportunity here. The Free Jacks pick it up, and they're going to take it in. What a sequence of events there. As New England gets on the board, their captain, Mitch Jacobson, ducks it down for the five-point try. Again, the Lions speed of New England doing its job. Just looked like Nadia was expecting that ball. But Mitch Jacobson just applying so much pressure. Playing a little bit of footy with it before collecting it himself and donning it down. That's it, eh? Build pressure. Build pressure. That's what we expect. They want to play. They want to play. For San Diego, John offloading into the hands of Poitman. And Christian Poitman putting it down for San Diego. And the Legion are a conversion kick away from tying the championship. We couldn't have scripted that better, man. That was sensational stuff. Let's link up. One circle here on Mitch. Just link up on Mitch. Just eyes up on their line out, we won't get you out. That's fine. That's good. Easy. Yeah. Here we go. Next job now. Hey, no piggybacks. Back down there now. Get that, Joe. Get that, Joe. Over, Joe. Montrose from downtown puts it through, and that's another three, and it's 13 7 New England. Hey, we regroup now. Regroup now. Bend no break, there it is. Bend no break, Cowboy Potty. Regroup now. Here comes Augsburger. Nate Augsburger trying to brace his way in, get by Montrose, and he does. Nate Augsburger has been a try scoring machine his 10th of the season, and he puts it down, and it's a one point match. Play of the half. Tommy Slether on the way from Hooley. And Hooley is able to stick it. And the Legion, the top team in Major League Rugby, guys, lead it 17 13 here at the half. Let's start living for some longer sets. That's just going to take finish your tackle, finish your tackle, get on our feet, get off hold, get off the line, finish our tackle. And two or three of those we've already seen, they'll give us the ball back and then we'll hit a home run again. Eh? Yeah. All good. There's home runs on. All f***ing day against these guys because they'll continue to overplay. Just on attack, boys. I think the biggest thing for me is we've got. To, I want us to find the when we got the next ten minutes. Just find the gain line, okay? Just nice, simple f***ing carries. Lovely. We've got some love with a bit of a latches and stuff like that. So we're not going to move the ball unless we get that gain line. You understand? But I feel like we haven't we haven't established that yet. Okay. So so, so let's just have a big focus on our rhino <coughs> carries, getting tight on each other. If you're on the inside clean, just be wary. If you clean past, make sure you recoil. The last six months we worked our asses off, eh? And it's all for the next 40. Think about all the f***ing sacrifices each and every one of you has made to come to this f***ing place, eh? Every f***ing one of us has made a sacrifice to be here, and it's all for this next f***ing 40. Otherwise it counts for f***ing all. Show all these f***ing in the crowd why they f***ing paid big money to come see your ugly f***ing faces. Get the f*** up. I don't want to see any f***ing moaning and sulking in the f***ing hotel afterwards going, what if? Sweet?
Inside ball, trying to get a break here is Milan. Great offload! Milan with a beautiful play. Here comes McDonald. He's taken down at the five. So a couple of big runs there from the Free Jacks, and they're knocking on the door once again here. They go out over the top. Balakana's out there, diving towards the line. No sick. There's the arm in the air. James puts the arm up as Balakana dove in, and the Free Jacks get a huge five there. Oh my gosh, the New England Free Jacks coming in hot down the field and just looking at Balakana there, one of the best finishers in the league. Knock! Yes! 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 Play on though, says James McDonald. Outside with it now. Here comes New England. New England on the move. Here they come. Conrad, he's got it. Trying to make his way in. He's a couple of meters shy, though. Now they get it inside. Right near the try line is New England again. Poland plays it back. Battle toward the line. Held up. James right there says it's held up. It was not grounded. And the Legion surviving multiple phases of dangerous attacking play. Legion, point of it outside. Augsburger diving. And Augsburger's got another one. And the Legion take the lead back here in the 61st minute. They're on top by two. And there's the patience that Danny Lee talked about. It went phase after phase after phase right into the heart of this New England defense. The San Diego Legion, one loss this season, 16 and one. They've got the lead back by four with 20 minutes remaining in this match. That's okay, that's good team. We're okay. That's fucking great team. Quick sip, eh? Keep the energy, hey? Yes. Yes. New England right now has all their players just about parked up inside the 15s. There's no width to their attack. The Ruben Milan's their last player in this line here. You can see him on the far side of your screen. He's the last free jack in this offense. Number 12, he gets in there. Into the ruck there, Poland. Gets it free. All the Free Jacks on scene, they're all in between the 15s right now. There's yep. nobody, I was one out wide, Mitch Wilson's out wide. Here's Patros now, inside ball, good read defensively from San Diego. Ball and nearly taken away, now they got a chance, it's Milan to the line! And Maru Milan, you mentioned it Mike Petri, Milan with the go-ahead try here. 25-24 New England in the 77th minute. The Free Jacks! able to hold it on for so many phases just when it looked like they weren't getting any go forward. Making it 25-24, two and a half minutes to go here in the championship. Can New England hold off San Diego? Or can the Legion, can they finish the job? Short ball, nothing there. Uh, 15 meters out into the middle now. Quickly played on, Mahananu trying to get a handle on it. He cannot, it is knocked on. And New England's gonna get the ball here. Look, they get a little breath of hair here right now, but the job is far from over, even though we've only got 50 seconds left in this match. And San Diego so frustrated right now. You can tell they're asking for calls from Jones, but it's not gonna go their way. This scrum means everything. Poland. Trying to execute it, as Mike said. Gets to the back, gets to it. Jason Patros has got it. Jason Patros sends it into touch, and that's the match. The MLR Shield is indeed shipping up to Boston. The New England Free Jacks, 2023 Major League Rugby Champions, as they defeat San Diego in a classic. That feels 
good, hey? Wow. Finally a winner, eh? Finally win something, man. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 Major League Rugby Champions, the New England Free Jacks. You know, what I'm going to do tonight is I'll buy it, not, probably not expensive, but a cheap bottle of champagne and we'll keep it in the training room until we win. And we'll pop that, that'll be one of the ones that we pop. But I think if you've never had that feeling to pop a bunch of bottles of champagne and get sprayed in your eyes, these actually have helped a lot. To, to... Thank God I had this. <laughs> Uh, but it's definitely one of the best feelings to do with a group of people that you're in the trenches day in and day out. You know? uh, do you remember wow. this one? Oh.